Come on, Gus, you don't want to be late. We've got uh -huh. time. It's the first day of school. You want to make a good impression. Mm. The only impression I want to make right now is on you. Oh, really? That's not very seemly behavior for a college professor. Assistant professor, we have leeway. Not in your first day, you don't. Well, at the very least, can we discuss this tonight? Yeah, absolutely. And now that you're on the road to tenure, maybe we should also talk about having a family. A natural continuation of the same discussion. I like it. think of this tie. It's good. It's a good choice. You sure? Mm hmm I have to be in court by nine. Okay. This is for later. Uh, mm -hmm. Nice wrapping, huh? It's not that counts, all right? I agree. Let me see you. Mm. I love you. Mm, I love you. I'm going to be good. Okay. Have a good day. You too. Shanahan. Oh, there you are, Gus. I was just about to call you. Call me? Is there something wrong? I just hope to have a word with you before your class. But now there isn't any more time. That's why I was calling you to see where you were. I'm sorry, I don't follow. Your class is about to start. My class doesn't start till 10. We spoke about this last week at the faculty club, don't you remember? I said we had to change the time of your class to nine. Nine. Yeah, there was a note in your box as well. well. You better start writing these things down, Gus. <coughs> Good morning. I'm Professor McLean, and this is freshman English. If you're in the wrong place, I suggest you leave now. Once I get started, I've been known to physically restrain people until I'm done. That was a joke. <laughs> Hope you all had the opportunity to uh, go to the bookstore and pick up the assigned text. This quarter, we will be beginning with Homer's Odyssey. Uh, Professor McLean. Uh, just a minute. Professor. Just a minute. Sorry, I seem to have misplaced today's lecture. What was your question? I wanted to say that the bookstore is out of the Odyssey. Someone said you'd change the list. Well then, I, uh, I guess today we'll just have to wing it until I get all this sorted out. Are there any more questions? Yeah. What time are your office hours? Well, what works for you? <laughs> Come on, Gus. It couldn't have been that bad. It was that bad. I was late. I was unprepared. The chairman was there to see it all. Well, uh... Anybody make fun of your clothes? I distinctly remember putting those notes in my pack. Yeah. Well... First days are always tough, right? Come on. Sometimes all you can do is just chalk it up and move on. Did the present make you feel any better? What present? The one I gave you this morning. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. I didn't even get a chance to open it yet. You know, if you don't like it, all you have to do is say so. Like it? I didn't even get a chance to take it out of my pack. 
It's on your desk. I saw it when I came in. I didn't get a chance to stop in and see you on Monday. I wanted to find out how your first day went. Monday was not one of my best days. This week. This week has not been one of my best weeks. How so? I don't know. I've been forgetting things I've said, things I've done. It's weird. This kind of thing happen to you often? Is this Mark Walker the friend or Mark Walker the psychiatrist asking? The friend? No, this kind of thing does not happen often. Relax. I'm sure it's just stress. First week of teaching is enough to drive anybody crazy. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Unless what happened to you the other night at Barney's is a common occurrence. Barney's? You don't remember. I guess it doesn't surprise me, considering how much you were drinking. How much I was drinking? The bartender had to ask you to quit hitting on the waitresses. Stop me if any of this comes back to you. No. No, I, I remember. Yeah, that was Saturday night. Sunday. Night before your class. Gus. I gotta go. Something you want to talk about? I just, I, uh... I gotta go. I'll talk to you later. Class. Of course, I'm in your class. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, your name? Alice. And I'm not offended. Well, why would you be? Some women would take it as an insult. Being forgotten. Forgotten? Um, I don't know what you're talking about. I see. You'd like me to remind you. Look, Alice. I mean, it's not like it's the first time I've been in here. Well, it is with me. The building it was dark and empty, but it's nice in here. I'm sorry, uh, if you... I don't know what you think happened. This uh, is what happened. I'm sorry, you need to leave. That's not what you said last time. Last time, last time. Maybe we should talk about it. About what? About whatever it is that's bothering you. Nothing's bothering me. <laughs> Come on, Gus. I don't think you're gonna like what you hear. It's not about me being happy, it's about you being unhappy. Okay.
pictures look fine. So that's good then? Well, that depends. Not finding something wrong is always good. On the other hand, if you continue to cause trouble in bars and forget about it in the morning, that would be bad. I don't understand. Are we back where we started then? No, we'll just have to dig deeper. The first thing that we'll need is an extensive family history. Well, then we're in trouble. You know I was adopted. I don't have an extensive family history. My biological parents were killed in that car accident when I was only a couple weeks old. You never found anything out about your real parents? No. Come on, Mark, why don't you lay it on out? Am I going crazy here? Or is there some other conceivable explanation? All right. Big picture, we've got two possibilities. One, that the episodes you're experiencing are caused by an actual defect in your brain that the MRI so far hasn't turned up. What's the other possibility? Well, that the problem isn't so much physical in nature as it is psychological. It doesn't sound much better, does it? about obtaining whatever records you might have of a car accident? Your next of kin? Yes. What was the date of the accident? Uh, March 27, 1966. Those records aren't on computer. Where are they? Downstairs. Hello? Hello? Excuse me. 